Hi, today we're going to discuss the Doppler effect. By the end of our discussion, you should be able to describe the Doppler effect as well as apply the Doppler equation in calculations. Doppler effect was discovered by an Austrian scientist called Christian Doppler. By looking at the spectrum of light emitted by a star or a distant galaxy, it's possible to tell if the star is moving or not, and if the star is moving, how fast and to which direction. Let's consider a familiar case. Suppose we close our eyes and listen to the engine of a fast-moving car. It is easy to tell whether the car is approaching us or moving away and how fast. The loudness of the sound changes and so does the frequency of the sound we hear. For a car that is approaching, the frequency of the sound produced by its motor appears to increase. But as the car moves away, the frequency of the sound tends to be lower. This apparent change in frequency is what we call the Doppler effect. In addition, the faster the car is moving, the greater the change in frequency. Doppler effect is therefore a property of all waves. If scientists look at the spectra from stars or galaxies, they can see Doppler effect in place. For example, this image shows light from a stationary star like our sun. Comparing this with a star that is moving away from the earth, the light appears to be stretched and so it has a longer wavelength, meaning that the frequency is smaller according to the wave equation. This is what we call the red shift. Again comparing it with the light from a similar star moving towards the earth, the light spectrum is compressed, so the wavelength is shorter and therefore higher frequency and this is what we refer to as the blue shift. The farther away a galaxy is, the greater the red shift and the faster it is moving away from us. The Doppler equation. It can be written as change in wavelength over the reference wavelength equals to the velocity of the galaxy over the speed of light, which can be written in symbols as shown. For example, Light emitted by the sun has a wavelength of 434 nanometers. A distant galaxy emits the same light, but because of the Doppler effect, it has a wavelength of 482 nanometers. Calculate the speed at which the galaxy is moving relative to the Earth, taking the speed of light to be 3.0 times 10 power 8 meters per second. Working. Since we know our formula is delta lambda over lambda naught equals to v over c, which implies that the velocity v equals to the change in wavelength over the reference wavelength times the speed of light. We can substitute as follows and simplify so that our final answer is 33,200 kilometers per second. Since the apparent wavelength is longer, this is an example of redshift. And therefore, the galaxy is moving away from the Earth. 